Hi, my name is Brian and I'm the 3D print creator. In this episode, it's all about coffee and build tech. Stay tuned. So this week I was browsing Thingiverse and I found a nice link which was about coffee. In fact, it wasn't about coffee, it was a filter holder to hold this kind of filters. And this is the filter I use for my Lapafona coffee machine, which is a great machine. And normally you find this only in pubs or in restaurants. So I found this uh, filter holder on the internet and I thought, well, let's give it a go, let's print this. But then when I did, something happened. I printed it midnight, uh, so I was in bed. And the next morning when I woke up, I saw this here laying around. And as you can see, it's all brittle and not so very nice. So some strange thing happened. I didn't know what, but uh, I found out because I made a time-lapse movie of it and I could see it shifts a little on the print bed. So uh, I think it came loose from the glue I had on the bed. Because of that, I made a new one. This one, and this came out perfect. It really looks very, very good. And it printed very, very well. So after it printed, I took my porta holder and I tried to hang it in, but what? Well, it didn't fit. So what I learned at that moment was that Lapafoni makes several kinds of porta holders. They make a porta holder for the smaller machines, the home machines, and they make ones for the bigger machines like I have. Uh, this is a machine you find in a restaurant. So I had to design my own filter holder. And uh, I went into 123D design and I was creating a good filter holder which I, I thought would be very very good for this type of porta filter. And this is what came out and it really looks nice. And my filter fits perfectly in it but there is something wrong with it. And what is wrong is this. When I let it loose it falls out. And the reason it falls out is because there is no border on the sides here. So I needed a little update on it. And well, I was in 123D design, so I created an update. And I created this one, which belongs to this one. Because the problem was that when all this was mounted together, it worked fine and it kept my porta filter nicely inside but then uh, this porta filter is 700 grams and this wasn't strong enough to hold 700 grams so when I shove it in I broke it and it fell loose again after that I tried to make a new one and it came loose from the print bed and this was the moment I decided I will never ever use captain tape in my life Captain tape is this yellow tape you can place over your aluminum print bed and it works great, it, it really does. Uh, you have to apply some glue to it, uh, not every glue is perfect. Uh, for example, Prit I now know doesn't work, but Pelican and Uhu work perfect. And uh, when you apply it, then uh, your print will stick to it, then you have to clean it again, put new glue on it and print again. And this goes very long and, and it's, you can use it many times. Another thing I learned is you don't apply new glue to it. You keep the same glue over and over again. And that also works. And then you can smear it out just with little tissues, little uh, paper tissues. And you can smear it out, all the glue over the tape. Uh, again and again and again and you can use the same glue over and over again and it works about 10 prints and then after a long print your print breaks loose and 
sometimes it doesn't work and almost every time your print is not very flat on the surface it it hits because uh, well there is bunches of glue everywhere then I read about build tack and this is a tape you can apply to your print bed you don't need any glue or uh, hairspray or whatever you can immediately print on this you can use it many many times and uh, at first I bought a Chinese clone and the Chinese clone was horrible so I thought well Biltech isn't that great but then someone pointed out that the Chinese clone wasn't that great and I should try the real one so I bought a few of these and to be honest it's great the moment I applied this to my print bed was also the moment that prints died and uh, when I heard this uh, I was a bit upset uh, I'm a big fan of prints so I was a bit upset when this this happened and I started looking on the internet what what news I could find and one of the first links I found because Google knows I like Thingiverse is the symbol on Thingiverse so I started printer printing the symbol and my first print on BuildTech was actually the symbol so I printed it and it came out very very good I've never seen a print stick that much to the print bed it, it really was great and uh, then the next morning when the print was done I tried to remove the print from the bed whoa that didn't happen that easy because it really sticks to the print bed and I learned that uh, when printing on BuildTech you have to raise your nozzle a little bit higher because if you don't then it sticks so good to the print bed that you're really having a problem and you can even ruin your build tech luckily enough that didn't happen to me but it can happen so uh, I had a lot of force to, to, to use to remove the, the symbol from the print bed but when I did it was completely completely smooth the surface on the bottom side was completely smooth I've never seen such a good quality print after that I printed a few other things uh, which I couldn't print when I was using captain tape this is a great print and I couldn't print it when using captain tape uh, I have a lot of other prints which also had problems like this for example this is a cable clip which I use for uh, my network cables so I can tie them together 16 cables in one clip and really it, it, it's great it works perfectly and the prints came out uh, as if I ordered them from from an industrial printer it, it really was great so I'm never again going to use blue painters tape or captain tape or whatever I'm only going to use Biltech from now on it's great then after that uh, I was looking at all my uh, stock videos I made my, I say stock but I mean time lapses and I was looking at all those time lapses and I said well every time I see this horrible uh, do not touch sign above my hot end and I was thinking well what can I do with it so that it, it doesn't look that horrible anymore and then I thought of a great idea this is a space which is in my camera face all the time so in every time-lapse I'm going to show always this place will be yeah, in, in, in the frame and I thought well what if I make this space a little advertisement space but not like an advertisement you can buy I was thinking of something to do with people who are good for the 3D printing community if you are good for the 3D printing community then you will end up at this space so for example this time uh, the shop where I bought this printer I gave them this space on my print head and the reason I did that and they don't know so they will see when they see this video the reason I did that is because they helped me very very much uh, when I first started out printing I was the first one to have this printer the, the DaVinci Pro printer 
and uh, it came with a lot of problems. Uh, it shouldn't have been released at that time. So uh, the software wasn't ready, uh, the hardware wasn't ready. Uh, this was the third machine I got from them and this was the first working machine. But the guy at the shop, really, he was magnificent. He did a lot for me. He drove uh, from his shop to my house to, to exchange the printers. Uh, when I got back later at time, uh, he gave me some filaments so I could try out and, and not starter packages but real spools. So I can't thank him enough. Uh, it's 3D Division in Holland and I think they're a great shop. And uh, this isn't a paid commercial, it isn't. Uh, I say this because I really like them and next time you will hear me say this about someone else. And it can be a person, it can be a company, it can be anything because I only give this space to the people I like, to the people who do something for the 3D printing community. Do you have any idea for someone which should end up on my, yeah, on my free space so I can give a shout out to? Well, let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I would sure love it if you would subscribe to my channel, because when I hit 100 followers, I'm granted a few more rights on YouTube and I really would like that, so I need 100 followers. So please subscribe to my video and I will see you next Thursday on my printing channel. Thanks a lot.